Welcome to another video guys. Um, as per usual, I forgot to film an intro, so here we are halfway through the video shooting the intro. Today we're attempting to paint the hood on the FG1 and we also got a shipment of parts in so we're probably going to work on a few other small fixes as well. Here's what it's looking like after uh, some 600 grit wet sanding. It's pretty smooth. There's a couple imperfections, but I think it's going to be good for what it is. Um, it's not like it's a SEMA car. It does have imperfections in other places, so I think I'm pretty happy with this. I initially masked it like I was going to paint it on the car, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to back the car out and bring a table in here and put the, put the hood on the table and spray it on there it needs properly cleaned before I spray it but I think other than cleaning I think we're ready for a base coat it's feeling pretty good Okay, I got a few layers of paint laid down on the hood there. I'm letting it kind of flash up. It's looking not bad. I'll probably give it a mild sand with some 1500 grit before I lay clear. I'll probably... Man, I'm not a professional. I don't know what I'm doing, but... Just to knock down a little bit of the texture, I'll probably hit it with some 1500. Maybe one more layer of white and then clear. I don't know. Anywho, while we're waiting for that, I got Rock Auto. The uh, delivery driver just dropped the stuff off. So, I don't even remember what everything I got, but most importantly, I got them cool floor mats. I want to unbox those because they were like the cheaper version of of uh, WeatherTech. So, I want to unbox those and go see how they fit in the car while we're waiting for paint to dry. Alright, the paint fumes in the shop are a little stuffy, so I'm going to open these outside so I don't die. Really nice, feel nice on the top. They just kind of have like a cheap fabricy feeling on the bottom, but they got nice deep edges, so should be pretty good for winter. Uh, let's go stick them in the car and see how they fit. I wouldn't say the fitment is a hundred percent, but I'd say it's a good 92.7. They definitely look nice in there. They look pretty dang good. Again, fitment isn't perfect. It's not like a weather tech. I would say like they're a good eight and a half, nine out of ten for fitment, but they look nice. They're nice and grippy compared to a weather tech, which is kind of sweet. They have more traction on the feet. And yeah, I mean they'll do their job. They'll keep moisture off the carpets, so. I would say they're a win for the money. If you're really looking for El Minto fitment, probably look at WeatherTech or even Husky maybe. But these are definitely a good budget option.
Okay, as you just seen, I just laid another layer of base coat. That's gonna be the final layer of base coat. I'm gonna let that dry, and then we'll be getting into clear coat. Uh, but while we wait, why don't we unbox the rest of these Rock Auto parts? Well, let's go do that in the house so I don't sound like Darth Vader. Welcome to a guy's hobby room slash summer tire storage. Anybody else into RCs? Anywho, this video is probably jumping around like a leapfrog. Ring dig a ding. But let's open these parts and see what we got. I remember some of the stuff, but not all the stuff. I don't know why there's this big long box. I don't remember buying anything long. Oh, wiper blades. That's what it would have been. Just one wiper blade? I definitely bought two. Okay, those are sway bar end lengths. All right, I also got a couple of little exhaust bolt and spring kits. Uh, I'll need one of them for putting the muffler on that car. The other one is just a spare. And an exhaust muffler donut. So I bought that for a base model. I don't know if it's gonna work because I ended up getting an SI muffler. And a Camaro. Sweet. Oh, I lied. I didn't get gypped out of my wiper blade. Trico ice. Oh, these are sway bar inlets. Those are sway bar inlets. Oh, you know what these are? These are shock bellows. Because the bellows are torn on that car. Yeah, new bellows and bump stops. Holy moly. Ooh, S10. Uh, four new spark plugs. Oh, this is an important one. This is... Oh. They sent me two for some reason. Hmm. For some reason... I swear I only ordered one, but I got two grill brackets. Hopefully they're for the right side. So one will be for the base model, and then the other one will be for the uh, silver FG2 once we get to that project. And then I bought clips, more Garmin clips than you can shake a stick at, as per usual every time I seem to work on a car. I think that's the gist of it. Uh, basically all of that is for the FG1 with the exception of one of the cabin air filters and then the sway bar end links. I said I was going to put a SI sway bar on that white FG1, but whoever buys it's just looking for a daily. They don't really care, right? So I'll save those end links for the silver FG2 and we'll put the 9th gen bar on the silver FG2. So that and that and that are the FG2, the rest of this is for the FG1. Look at all this plastic, man. I think it's like ridiculous. Anyways, I'm gonna clean all this up, organize, and then I will see you guys back out in the shop when it's time to lay some clear on that hood. And then we'll see how awful of a job I did. Did I waste 140 or 50 bucks on supplies? Possibly. <laughs>
All right, guys, as you just seen, I laid down four coats of clear. The first coat was pretty thin, so it's more like three. Uh, so far, I think it's looking pretty great. It has a little bit of orange peel. But it ain't bad at all, so we'll see how it dries, and hopefully it matches the car good. But I'm pretty happy with it at this point. Now we just gotta wait. Okay guys, the hood is sorta of cured. Unfortunately, I made a boo-boo. I got it with the edge of my hoodie, right down near the H logo. You can kinda see there's some weird texture right there. Yep, yeah, that was my jacket. I screwed it up trying to move it. I don't think I'll ever be able to hide that, but I may be able to wet sand it a touch and clean it up. I don't know. It is what it is. It's not like the rest of the car is exactly perfect, but I'm pretty happy with the paint job though, like because the car is dirty and undetailed, but the match looks great. I'm very happy. Obviously, also the hood's not bolted on. It's just sitting there loosely right now. Um. Anyways, I'm really happy with the match and the finish. It's got a little bit of orange peel, and it definitely has imperfections, but like, I think it looks pretty good for what it is. For a DIY job, I'm pretty happy with it. So. It's gonna have to dry for a few days, I guess, even though I just screwed it up. I hate myself. And then, yeah, we'll keep picking away on some minor repairs here in this video with uh, all the new parts that came in. Okay, it's later the same evening of painting the hood. It's actually about nine o'clock at night. But I got nothing better to do, so we're gonna work on the car. Um, in the last clip, I showed you how I had touched the hood and wrecked it with my jacket. Well, <clears throat> by some miraculous magic, uh, I let the car run for a while, let it get hot and heat the hood up and the clear kind of self-leveled here again. Uh, it's still a little boogered here right at the edge, but it's not bad considering how bad I messed it up. So. That's a win. But yeah, I got her bolted back on here. Looks pretty good. Anywho, I had a thought that I activated this 2K clear and there's still probably half a can left or so. So I shouldn't let it go to waste. I have to pop the bumper off again to add that grill bracket that came in. So while I'm doing that, I think I might wet sand these headlights and hit them with that clear that I have left over and brighten these headlights back up, right? Mazel, I got it. So I'm gonna jack this thing up, get it apart, and then we'll start working on those headlights. Got the front bumper ripped off, and as you'll see, I taped around the headlights here. Uh, I'm gonna sand them on the car, just cause it's easier when they're not flopping around on the bench. And then I will take them off because it's only a few bolts. And actually, I think this turn signal bulb is burnt out, so I'll change that at the same time. But anyways, I'll take them out and I'll spray them on the bench. Just be easier than masking off the car. So let's get to sanding. With our headlights sanded with 1500 grit, as you can see, we knocked down all the yellowing and any rough spots. I feel nice and smooth now. Uh, now I'm gonna hit them with some uh, Ultimate Compound. I got a little bit of an old bottle and I bought a new bottle here. It says, Improved Formula. 
So we'll hit them with some compound, try and bring some sheen back to them. We'll see how they're looking after that. And then barring that, we may clean them and spray them, or we might go to a different type of polish. So let's knock those out quick. That's with two passes of the ultimate compound. That's looking pretty good. And this is a comparison, no compound and the compound. So that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I think um, I'll repeat that on the other side and then I'll take these out and we'll spray them with clear. Headlights are off on the bench here. I got some cardboard set up just to minimize the clear coat. Um, got my paint can warming up there so it has a little better pressure. Just got to shut off the big heater to minimize dust and then I'm just gonna coat these down with the 2k clear. I'll probably do about three coats for light and hopefully they look good. I think they will. They look pretty decent without the clear so the clear will add some gloss and obviously protection. All right, that is that. I'm gonna throw you guys in the laps and spray these. Headlights are back in the car. They're just loosely mounted right now because they're still wet. So just being careful with them. But it's time we can fix this grill while we're waiting. So this is that corner piece that was busted so I ordered a new one and it just kind of has to slide in there like that and then it sandwiches in between the bumper like a so and then a couple screws in here which I've got there and then the other thing I didn't add when I put it together the first time was these little pieces which uh, so I'm gonna have to check but they somehow mount like a so or like oh, whoa something like that i believe and what they do is they actually help pinch the closeout tray uh that piece right there that covers the rad support comes in right here uh that actually will latch right in once you screw those in so that it's held in nicely which is a big pet peeve of mine. I see a lot of rebuilds, uh, eighth and ninth gen Civic specifically, uh, where people fix the front end damage and they never put the closeout panel on and it just looks so rough. It's so much nicer to have that on there. You get a much cleaner engine bay look, so. Anywho, enough of my rant. Let's mount all these parts so that this bumper is ready to go back on the car. Okay. Tabs all screwed in, and it fits a lot nice and tighter, tighter to the bumper now, as you can see. No more gap in the grill like there used to be. And I got the closeout panel locks all bolted in like a so. so closeout panel will lock into there nicely. And then this tab was actually not popped into here properly, so I popped it out and popped them all in so they're latched the way they should be. So I think I can actually install this bumper for the last time. Uh, when I was in town the other day getting the motors and all the other parts, my dumb ass forgot to go to Honda and grab the license plate mount. But I can install the license plate mount after the fact, so it's not a huge deal. It just sucks because the city's two hours from me and I was there and I totally didn't go. Anywho. 
I have all new Dorman clips, as you guys would have seen earlier, that we can put into the bumper. So that can all go on properly for the last time. Uh, I just need to finish bolting these headlights down. I'm just a little reluctant to because they're still wet. I don't want to screw them up like I did the hood. So I'm kind of just wondering if I should call her a night. It's getting late anyways. I do have other miscellaneous things I can do, but I think I might wait until the morning. I think it's a smarter choice, so. I will catch you guys bright and early when it's time to work on this thing again. Good morning, guys and gals. And by that, I mean, it's like five minutes before noon. Technically morning. It's still minus four outside, so that's great. <clears throat> Headlights are all dry overnight. This one turned out super nice, looks really crisp. This one has a funky spot in the middle, right there. I don't know, the camera will probably pick it up. So that's too bad, but it still looks really good. It's way, way better than it was, so large improvement. But they're dry anyway, so I can actually put the front of this car back together now. Last night we dialed in the bumper. Hood's dry. So yeah. Let's get cracking on this thing again. We got boxes of crap to install. See, I got the bumper on. I just wanted to show you we got with the grill bracket on, we got way nicer fitment to the headlight and much nicer fitment around with the bumper as well. The only spot it's sticking out slightly is right here, but I think that's because this fender does have that little kink there and this kink here, so she don't fit exactly perfect right there, but looking pretty good. Let's keep going. As you see there, I just cleaned up the closeout tray, but it's actually missing its nipple. It's nippleless right there. You can't only have one nipple. All right? So I'm going to go out to the red parts car. I think there's a closeout tray in there, and we'll see if we can't find another nipple. Tony, what'd you kill, bro? What'd you kill? Where are your little mouse? Little mouse. Man, it's chilling out here. There we go. One fresh nipple. All right, nipple action. Oh, yeah. Ready. All right, we got unboxed Dorman clips. I got Dorman clips falling out the wazoo. I gotta get under the car for the lower splash shield and inner fenders and install all of those clips. And I still have the OEM clips that go in here. I reinstall those. And then I think cosmetically the bumper and plastics and everything are affixed for the last time. So let's get to it.
Okay, so we just threw some black paint over that battery strap because the blue was a little much for me. Um, I also zip tied the block heater up across here. It just sits right here, so in the wintertime, someone not hanging out their hood, they could. Or tuck it back in there for some reuse. Um, I have an insulated cover coming for that, so we'll install that at a later date. I also removed the wire that went to the amp. I still have to remove the amp and the wiring from the trunk. Uh, I'm not gonna pull it all out from under the carpet. I'll probably just cut it off flush and tuck it out of the way and then just throw the amp out, so. I think that completes the front end portion. Uh, there's obviously still maintenance stuff to do but I'm gonna do the maintenance stuff last. So I think we can close the hood, put this thing down on the ground, see what it looks like. Okay, we're missing a few of the uh, fender liner clips here, so I'm just gonna throw those in. That one's missing. Come on now. That one, you're home. I think that's it. And then I got a couple on the other side. But you get the idea. Uh, the other part I have for this, you'll notice the bellows are torn. So we're going to replace those bellows. And I think they came with bump stops too. So that's another thing. We'll probably be doing in the maintenance video. Anyways, I'm going to throw these other clips in. I've also got four lug nuts i need to install because it had locking lug nuts on it but we're throwing those in the garbage can because nobody wants locking lug nuts so we gotta put those four lug nuts on but i probably won't put them on this back wheel because after i put the front end down we'll move it forward i'm gonna rip this back wheel off we're gonna reinstall that mud flap that's missing since we have it over there and Let's look into putting the muffler on as well. Hopefully the exhaust donut I have will work with the SI muffler. While I was putting in the new fender clips for this fender, I just noticed that this mud flap is not mounted properly. It's missing its lower clip and screw or something. So I might actually buzz this tire off so we can look at this and try fixing that. And there you have it. No more floppy mud flap. All fixed. Alrighty fellas, I'm just putting on our mud flap here and I actually even managed to find the hardware in the car. There's our mud flap. Uh, we still have a clip here, but we are missing both the clips from here. So this is a missing clip and then this, as you can see, is actually broken out so a clip won't go in there. So what I did was I found this piece of old broken seat trim, which actually came out of this car. If you'll remember, I replaced it with the one from the SI. And I trimmed out this little square piece and uh, drilled a pilot hole in it. And then this clip is from the red parts car. So what I'll do is once I install it, I will be able to slip this plastic piece in behind here like that. And uh, once the screw goes through it, it'll hold that tight and it'll give the mud flap something to affix to. So let me throw that in and then we'll start working on the exhaust, which I'm not looking forward to. <laughs> Hardest of the day? Snack the Ripper. Okay, I got that little piece in there and to be perfectly honest, it was kind of a bugger to get lined up, but you can see it's in there, screws through it, and makes it nice and solid. Bumper, whole bumper's moving, it's not gonna pull out, so. That's good, that's a win. And while I got this wheel off, I just remembered I still have to take that. I have to fix that e-brake spring. But it's cold outside. And I have to go pull it off the red car. Anywho, let's do the exhaust. So the exhaust 
As you can see the old muffler is gone, but the flange is still there. I gotta try and get those bolts out. Good luck, right? And vice versa, the muffler that I bought still has its flange from the B pipe on it, so I have to get those bolts out as well. And then from there, we'll see if the gasket I bought works. I don't know if the camera pick up the smoke. <coughs> Push your smoke in here. I had to use some heat. And I got them off without breaking them. Look at that cruddy thing. Gotta get the rest of that gasket out of there. And then we can work on the muffler. Alright, fellas. We have a slight issue. So I've got the old flange off the SI muffler, as you can see. That gasket is going to work in there. Shouldn't be an issue, I don't think. But the issue we have here is the little flange at the back of the resonator that this kind of sits onto is kind of rusted away. And by kind of, I mean it's mostly rusted away. So... Basically what that does is it centers this on there. I'll see if I can get it. You guys a view here. It's not very roomy under here. So this flange should come out farther than an eighth or quarter of an inch that it is so that this gasket can sit on it. And you can see it still kind of does, but it's pretty loose and floppy because there's just not much there. So I'm kind of at a conundrum. I can probably put this in there and make it work, but I'm not super happy with that. Okay, I just hit the whole area above the muffler here with uh, lanolin wax. That's clear wax, and I put black wax in the areas that will be visible. So that's nice and rust protected. Uh, I gotta throw on the heat shield now, then the muffler, and then we can see if that gasket's gonna work or not. I started mocking that up and realized it was a stupid idea. That gasket wasn't gonna sit on there square. And that flange was just rotten and weak. It's just a point that's going to fail. I know better than that. I don't want it to fail as soon as someone buys it and then I look like an asshole. So we're gonna do it the right way. But I thought of a plan Z. Instead of driving two hours to get a new exhaust, I sawzalled the flange off of there. So like I said, the rest of the exhaust, other than that flange, is in really nice condition. So I sawzalled the flange off. So it's just that flat piece, so we'll be able to clean that flat piece up. This is that flange that happened to come on the SI muffler. It's got broken off bolts in it, so I'll have to get those out. But we'll slip that onto there wherever it fits so I'll cut it to the right spot we'll mark it and then I'll pull this exhaust off and I'll get someone to weld it just right around there it's a nice slip fit so it'll be an easy weld it'll seal good and then we'll actually have the proper sized outlet for the SI muffler so I will have to get an SI donut but it's not a huge deal and yeah, we'll have a properly fixed, non-leaky, non-failing exhaust, which will be Gouda. So. As I was grinding, the hammer fell off, fell in the bucket of clips and shot clips everywhere. That was neat. Um, yeah, I just cleaned up the edge of this. So it's weldable, and you see we heated up and got those little broken bolts off, so that flange is good to use, other than it needs a new gasket, but that end is good to use. This end will have, to, I'm going to try and do it in the car. I'm going to actually see if I can borrow a welder, and I am not a welder by any sense of the means. I'm probably the worst ever, but... I can weld it in the car, then I don't have to deal with any other nonsense, which would be super rad. So, 
yeah let's see if I can clean that flange up so that we can weld it onto it's fully prepped now as you can see it's not welded yet obviously but uh, I've cleaned the end of both flanges there so I got a good angle and this is just slip fit over right now but since it's a perfect slip fit over it'll be nice and easy to weld and I cleaned it so shouldn't be too bad either I'm gonna try and borrow a welder or or see if I can find someone who will come over and weld it like a mobile type guy and then yeah I don't have to take these off, off the car so it's all mounted anyways once it's welded it'll be finished but it's still sunny out and I've been wanting to get this thing out in the sun and have a look at my paint match so before the sun goes away, I want to throw this wheel on and get this thing outside so we can have a look at it. All right, it actually looks really good. The match looks dang near perfect. I would say it's a good 90%, especially once I fix the rock chips and polish it. Fenders in me. Headlights look nice too. And even without that exhaust welded yet, hear a little bit of leak in there but not bad most of the exhaust is actually coming out of the muffler yeah coming out pretty darn nice It's been a few hours since we had the car outside. Uh, I was able to borrow a welder off a friend of mine. So shout out to Steve for the welder. I'll bring you back some beer when I bring you the welder back. Um, I also cleaned up in here because I was in full project mode and everything was a gong show. So I've tidied up. And I'm ready to attempt welding. I can't stress enough how bad of a welder I am. So. This could look awful. I'm gonna try to just tack it at first so it's in place. If it's not going well for me, I'll leave it tacked and I'm gonna pay someone else to do it. But I might as well try, right? I've got the surfaces cleaned up, ready to go. I've got the ground clamp under there on the exhaust. So I just gotta throw the helmet on and give her a wallop, I guess. Jackie's here. Probably gonna put her in the house so she doesn't light on fire or get our flash. Uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in a few seconds and we'll see how she's looking. All right, she's all welded on there. But like I said, <clears throat> I ain't no welder. But I'm gonna show you guys because I like to show everything. I don't wanna hide nothing, so. Here's my ugly welds. Yep, she's pretty boogery. But I think I got it sealed all the way around. The top was a little tough to do and the bottom actually oddly enough was tough too i guess just because i don't have it jacked up very high but like i said i think i got it all the way around i think it's sealed it's definitely strong it ain't going nowhere which is good and it's a lot better than that little rotten flange that was on there before so i would call it a win and i didn't have to drive two hours to go get new exhaust so i'm happy like I said, welds are ugly, but they seem like they're holding, so. All's wells end well. And yeah, I got an SI muffler now and a complete exhaust system, so it's nice and quiet. Um, anyways, I think this video has probably gone on very, very, very long. So I think I'm gonna call it here in the next video. 
we're going to do some engine maintenance stuff. And we also still need to do a detail on this thing. And then barring that, we're getting really close to being able to sell it. It's still got to get the glass put in it and it's still got to get inspected, but she's almost ready guys. So anywho, hope you're enjoying the content and we'll catch you guys in the next one, which hopefully maybe possibly might be the last episode on this car. And we'll see if we can sell it. Have a good one guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Look at that air. That's our soft brake pedal issue.